Okay, we have ourselves another task to complete. This is um, a lot of tube with, with some more sticks up here. All right. Yeah, I've got someone else that wants a chassis built, so I'm going to start that today. Also, this is not really going to be a how to build a chassis. That, that is a little too extravagant to try to perform on a YouTube video. I feel like you'd have to be here in person for like a couple chassis before you start to figure that stuff out. Okay. So, I'm kind of getting the shop ready for that process. I'm going to have to pull that guy out of there. I did want to mention these guys here. So my friend Tyler, I put that lift and tires and wheels on his Forerunner, and he came out riding with us to take some pictures and just hang out one day. Uh, he has a nice camera, and as a thank you for me helping him with his Forerunner, he had all these canvases created with his pictures that he took. They're really nice quality, uh, in person anyway, and uh, yeah, so that's really cool of him. These two uh, are not hung right now. I don't really know where to put them, but those look pretty cool up there. Uh, so yeah, thanks Tyler. And the two bender is mounted back up. This is exciting. I've had a lot of good times with this guy. It's a JD squared model three for those wondering. Uh, built my own little mounting point down there and the pedestal. Uh, they offer it as well but I just built it myself. It's a simple bender, no hydraulic pump or anything here. Just raw muscle, just raw chest and biceps, guys. But when you start moving up to 188 wall, it gets a little tough. <laughs> a lot of what I deal with is 120. All right, time to bring in the first piece of tube. I will say it's always pretty neat when you start a new chassis because all you have is this huge grouping of straight sticks, usually 20 to 22 feet long, and uh, you know, I'm the one that gets to bend it and make it into something pretty cool. Hey. Well obviously I'm not going to show you every piece of tube I bend, however, these are the lower frame rails, the left and the right side. And they are about 10 feet long with three bins on each piece of tube. It's funny because the first piece of tube I bend for each chassis is the biggest pain in the butt ones. They're 10 feet long, you know, like I said, and once you start putting bins in them, you start getting tight in the corner over there. So I've got that tube bender placed just where I need it to actually fit these guys once they're in there. They're also kind of inconvenient when you're by yourself because they when you're, when you're bending like this guy here, you have all this leftover weight that's kind of pulling one direction. So you kind of have to get creative with how you support it and make sure everything is in the plane that you want it to be in. So it's usually smoother sailing from here on out, which is nice. I got those guys out of the way. This is the part that I legitimately hate doing when it comes to building a chassis. A ton of repetitive copes over and over. I hate it. Get out of my life. Okay, I have another one wrapped up here. I have the tires mocked up here. 43s at about a 122 inch wheelbase, 18 and a half inch belly, overall height of about 66 inches at the tallest point. So it's another low sitting buggy. And I can build the front different if need be. Uh, some of the race buggies will have even more up travel than that. Uh, there should be no problem to get 9 inches of up travel up front um, and still sit very low. Which, I mean, unless you're racing and hitting tall ledges at a very fast pace, uh, 9 inches is quite a bit of up travel in the front and um, the rear. I mean, clearly there's lots, of, lots more room in the rear. <laughs> All right. All right. 